Any dog which is well cared for in terms of diet, coat care and general hygiene shouldn't have an odour problem as healthy dogs usually smell fine. However, some breeds are less likely to smell than others, something we share in this Animal Wise video on the top 10 dogs that don't generally tend to smell. Poodle Poodles stand out as dogs which don't tend to shed their hair. Although they may not shed often, their coat still needs care with regular brushing and grooming. Poodles do have a tendency to suffer from atopic dermatitis, a problem which can result in seborrhea, and consequently a poor body odour. In the absence of dermatitis, they are considered a good dog for allergy sufferers. Discover more about the poodle in the video that we share here. Bedlington Terrier they are medium-sized dogs that either don't smell or do so with less intensity because their coat doesn't shed. If you're thinking of adopting a Bedlington Terrier, you should know they need a lot of physical and mental stimulation. Otherwise, they can display destructive behaviours. Kerry Blue Terrier This dog is a breed of Irish origin and medium size. They have a wavy coat which grows long on their muzzle to give them a beard. Said coat requires attention to not only keep them clean, but also avoid tangles and knots, something which can promote bad smells. This breed also doesn't shed much, which contributes to their reputation for being one of the least smelly dog breeds. Barbet, a French dog breed and one of the oldest dog breeds, as well as one which doesn't smell much, their curly hair covers their entire body and includes a dense undercoat. This has come in handy in the past during their time as water dogs. However, in part due to their sociable, affectionate and playful nature, they are more likely to be found as companion animals. Pont Ardemer Spaniel. This dog's coat is known for being non-greasy. The characteristic doggy smell is due to natural sebum released from their hair follicles. Dog breeds which produce less of this secretion tend to have a less noticeable odour. This French Spaniel is also medium sized and gets on well with both other dogs and children. They will need plenty of exercise if they are to remain calm and relaxed in the home. Briard. These specimens do not smell due to their characteristic dry fur, which provides good protection against adverse weather conditions. These French dogs were originally employed as shepherds for cattle and enjoyed mainly outdoor living. They have been known to develop problems with other dogs, perhaps because they retain their instinct for guardianship and protection. Bouvier de Flanders These dogs are robust and large in size. They do not always accept the presence of other dogs, since they can be quite territorial. However, this is solved with adequate socialisation when they are a puppy. They can be included among the odourless dog breeds because of their dry and matte style coat, although it does require regular effective care. Spanish Water Dog As you can see, many of the least smelly dogs tend to have curly hair, and the Spanish Water Dog is no exception. These animals are very well behaved and display a great capacity for learning. In fact, if we're lacking in their education, they can develop behavioural problems due to being understimulated. Although they don't shed much and generally smell better than others, they are somewhat prone to knots and tangles. Portuguese Water Dog This Spaniel is slightly larger than the Spanish Water Dog as they can reach 25 kilograms in weight. They are intelligent, relatively easy to train and very active, as well as strong, loyal and curious. They are included among the dog breeds which don't smell for the same reason as the Spanish Water Dog, i.e. they don't shed although their hair is long and wavy and needs frequent grooming. Labradoodle As the name suggests, they are a cross between the Labrador and the Poodle. The intention of this creation was to develop a dog that could work as a guide for allergy sufferers, taking advantage of the assistance capacity of the Labrador and the Poodle's non-shedding coat. The first Labradoodles date back to the 1980s and were developed in Australia. They are dogs that learn easily and adapt to urban life, although they need to exercise given their high energy levels. Discover more dog breeds in the playlist that we share with you here. If you are thinking of adopting any of these dogs, let us know what you think in the comments and we'll see you next time.